What's going on guys, it's Silverback GTI. We're back with another video today because we're gonna install the CTS Turbo inlet pipe I picked up at Eurotuning.com. I believe it was $90 when I bought it. And uh, here's a step-by-step -step process on how you access the stock turbo inlet pipe. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off the intake, whether it be your stock intake or your aftermarket intake, just so you can access the rubber hose to get to the bolt to take off the inlet pipe. Now that you have your intake off, you need to remove the hose and then access this bolt back here. Once you remove that, you'll be able to twist towards the steering wheel and pull the inlet pipe out. All right, so now that you have your stock inlet pipe off, you can see um, it's plastic. I mean, it, it does hold up for what it's doing, uh, but the CTS Turbo one, and I believe all the other aftermarket ones are uh, obviously metal. I think they're made out of aluminum. Um, the welds are really, really good on this. Uh, the only thing that you have to remember is when you take off the stock one, you pull the O-ring off from the old one and put it on the new one because you need it there. And then, as you can tell, the major difference between these are, you can see the stock is pretty small and then the CTS Turbo is relatively big, like in size difference within the, the uh, bore here. So now all you have to do is just put that tubing back on onto this side. You take the little cap off, put it in, put that T25 bolt back in, lock it down. When you put it in the car, you're gonna have it angled up like this and bend it down so that these little prongs, these little prongs right here will lock into place and then reinstall your uh, intake and then you're all done. So after you have completed installing your intake back onto your car, Make sure that all the hose clamps are nice and tight and you have everything buttoned up and the turbo inlet pipe is supposed to increase the amount of airflow to your turbo so you may hear a little bit of extra turbo noise but it is supposed to help with throttle response as well if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like drop a comment and as always subscribe and stay tuned for more content catch you guys in the next one